Attention! Don't miss out on the latest updates and exciting content on our channel. If you enjoy what you see, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe right now. By subscribing, you become part of our amazing community and gain access to exclusive videos, behind-the-scenes footage, and valuable insights. But wait, there's more. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss a single upload. We're committed to delivering high-quality content that will keep you entertained, informed, and inspired throughout your journey with us. So, what are you waiting for? Hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and join our growing family of passionate viewers. Trust us, you won't want to miss any of the exciting things we have in store for you. Plus, stay tuned until the very end of the video for a special surprise, just for our loyal subscribers. It's our way of saying thank you for your support and for being part of our incredible community. Remember, the real fun begins when you hit that subscribe button. So, join us now and let's embark on this amazing journey together. We can't wait to have you as a valued subscriber. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. See you in the next video. Biography of Dwight D. Eisenhower Dwight David Eisenhower, popularly known as Ike, was born on October 14, 1890, in Denison, Texas, United States. He was the third son of David Jacob Eisenhower and Ida Elizabeth Stover. His family moved to Abilene, Kansas, when he was only one year old, and it was there that Eisenhower grew up and developed the values and work ethic that would accompany him throughout his life. From a young age, Eisenhower demonstrated exceptional academic and athletic abilities. At West Point Military Academy, he excelled in leadership and graduated in 1915. During World War I, he didn't see action on the front lines, but devoted himself to training American troops in the United States. The true test of Eisenhower's military abilities came during World War II. During this conflict, he quickly rose through the ranks of the U.S. Army and eventually was appointed Supreme Allied Commander of the Allied Forces in Europe. Eisenhower led the invasion of Normandy on June 6, 1944, also known as D-Day, one of the decisive moments of the war that paved the way for the defeat of Nazi Germany. After World War II, Eisenhower continued to serve in various military positions and led NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization. His popularity as a war hero and skilled leader thrust him into the forefront of U.S. politics. In 1952, Dwight D. Eisenhower was elected as the 34th President of the United States, defeating Democrat Adlai Stevenson. He assumed office on January 20, 1953, facing internal and external challenges. One of the significant milestones of his tenure was promoting the development of national infrastructure through the interstate highway system and national defense, which greatly improved transportation in the country. Eisenhower also confronted the Cold War during his presidency. He adopted a cautious approach to dealing with the Soviet Union and prioritized containment and diplomacy over direct military confrontation. During his presidency, he helped end the Korean War and advocated for reducing military spending, warning the nation about the risks of the military-industrial complex in his farewell address in 1961. Throughout his two-term presidency, Eisenhower sought to promote economic stability, advance civil rights, and strengthen ties with other countries. He also played a crucial role in the formation of NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, initiating the U.S. Space Exploration Program. After his time in the presidency, Eisenhower retired to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, where he engaged in philanthropic activities and continued to write his memoirs. On March 28, 1969, at the age of 78, he passed away due to complications from a heart condition. Dwight D. Eisenhower left a lasting legacy as one of the foremost military and political leaders of the United States. His prudent approach to foreign policy, investment in infrastructure, and role in promoting peace during the Cold War are some of the aspects that made him an admired figure both in his time and in subsequent history. 
His strong presence and skilled leadership continue to be remembered as fundamental characteristics of one of the most notable presidents of the country.